done an unboxing video in a while, but I got something in the mail last night that makes one worthwhile now. A couple months back, I kickstarted Fireball Island, the new board game, and it finally came in, and I am ready to see what it looks like. So this is the box that I got on my doorstop yesterday. The mailman actually didn't make a big deal about it. Uh, didn't ring doorbell or anything, so I just kind of walked out. I was like, oh, hey, cool, big box. So we'll see how this video goes. I'm actually getting a cold just in time for the holidays, so that's awesome. So if I'm coughing and sounding a little husky, that's why. These are the Fireball Island Deluxe Marbles. I decided to get all the add-ons just because I want to start board game nights, and if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this right. So there's Deluxe Marbles, the deck of cards, the Fireball Island Treasure Trove. Behold, treasure lies within. There could be cards. Let's see, there is Fireball Island Expansion 1, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Bees. Bees? Bees. Beads? The other expansion, Fireball Island, The Last Adventurer. I wonder who that's supposed to be. Let's see, there's that. Nice little figurine that's a fifth player for that. Actually, let me go back just for a second and show you this. All kinds of yellow marbles for bees, a bee swarm, and a literal crouching tiger. It looks like some guy in a tiger suit that's like crawling. It's not really a tiger, it's just some weird dude you meet on your adventures. The other Fireball Island expansion, Wreck of the Crimson Cutlass. I am all about pirates and this is amazing to do with one arm. Can I do it? I sure can. And nice big ship on that. Let's see what we got here. Welcome to Fireball Island. This was another little perk with the Kickstarter campaign. So that's actually really cool. Let me get into the proper light. And then, of course, the game itself. So let's see. Fireball Island, the Curse of Volcar. So this is the whole thing. I've actually seen online you can get this at Barnes and Noble as well already so I'm going to open up all of these boxes I'm gonna save you the watching me slowly unwrap it but when I get it all unwrapped and everything set up I will definitely let you see it for the first time along with me so that's the thing oh yes there's a helicopter that my hand was blocking off let's see there we go alright so you can see it a little bit better alright so let's check this out all right, credit where due. For all the Kickstarters that I've done, this is the fastest one I've ever had in terms of turnaround. This one only was a couple months. I think it was last summer. And here it is November, and boom. Restoration Games was on point with that. So, let's see. Here is what you get inside the box. So, Fireball Island, for those who were probably too young to remember this, was a big game in the 80s. The board was absolutely huge, and you had Volcar, the giant tiki god statue at the top that would shoot down these marble fireballs as you tried to get treasure, and, and uh, you had numerous pit traps and things. And now, this is basically the old game all ramped up with new expansions. They've really stepped it up. So, let's see. As big as the game is, I'm really surprised that uh, it actually fit in the decent box. There's a lot of good detail in this. A nice uh, paint job on this overall. Here's what it looks like on the back. It's kind of a light plastic, I'm trying to think. It does feel like an old 80s toy. It's that light, I wouldn't say flimsy plastic, but you know, it's a lighter plastic. I, they, they definitely have a warning on here. Please do not uh, keep in direct sunlight or near heat. So I'm thinking that is probably just not a good thing. So here is Volcar himself. This is where you drop all the marbles and thwart all your players. So let's see what else we have. We have all the fireballs, we have the players, we have a bunch of ladders and trees. They really, really step it up. It's like a full scenery, immersive 3D game board, and it's really, really cool. I always wanted one of these as a kid. I just never got around to it. But now that I'm old, I'm making up for it. So kind of a idea for that. I'll open this up. Oops, that's going to be a lot of pieces. I'm going to figure out what to do with that. 
but just kind of a here's one of the girl characters she's obviously fleeing for her life you know, lots of little tree pieces lots of little cool stuff let's see I think there might be what is this who are you so here is a touristy looking guy also running for his life I guess everybody is clearly having a time in this adventure so here are the Fireball Island cards kind of gives you an idea of what these are about I will open those later. Let's see the instruction manual, as you can see. Give you a lot of, it tells you how to set up the board, what everything does. It looks like I've got a lot of setup to do. Doesn't look too bad. I've seen worse. There's some that feels like an entire side project. So, and then they have, uh, let's see, I don't want to bend that. The cardboard box is all right. It's uh, it's kind of like a standard shipping box, like you might get, you know, whether at the grocery store or like you know one of the rental places, like when you're moving. But so the pieces are nice. They're two sided, so you'll definitely get some good details on that. And that, as you can see, is the main package. That's all you get with that. So now we're going to take a look at the expansions. So here we are with the next expansion, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Bees. Bees? Bees. Let's see, we have a Fireball Island selection of cards and guidelines. Tells you what to do when you're attacked by bees and stung. Of course, here is the tiger in question, the bee balls, if that's what they're officially called. They're officially called bee balls now. I'm sorry, Restoration Games, I've titled this for you. Here are more B pieces. They are two-sided as well. And this is the little instruction manual. It kind of tells you the new rules that you'll be expecting on this. So that is that little package. It's nice though. It has like little bees on the side. So that's actually kind of a nice exclusive artwork for this. So that's actually pretty cool. All right, on to the next expansion, The Last Adventurer. You can see the back again. Adventurer is his middle name, so that is probably not his surname. I'm just going to venture, uh, I guess, on that. So let's see what we have here. All right, so of course we have new cards, new rules, and this one is a little different than the Crouching Tiger Hidden Bees expansion. Let's get that open because this does give you a fifth player and a little idle tiki thing, some new green balls that represent snakes a soft squishy foam boulder and you know the little, the little guy kind of reminds me of someone I can't think of who he'd be I think his name was uh, Montana Jackson or something like that so Anyway, here are the snakes. Again, two-sided. All these pieces are really nice. They put a lot of care into all this. And then, of course, the new setup. It kind of tells you what to expect and then all the inventory of what you get in this. So that's another cool one. I'm really looking forward to... I don't know how I'm going to play this. I don't know if there's an... I'm going to have to read up on everything and I might do a follow-up video. I'll, I'll probably do a plays video later of getting some people together and, and checking all this out, but I'm curious to see if you can actually do all these multiple expansions in one game to make some crazy super game. So that's probably going to be once I kind of get the feel down for how this all plays out. I want to see if that works. If anyone knows, please feel free to leave me a comment because I'm sure there's couple people who got theirs before I did. Alright, here's the next set. The Wreck of the Crimson Cutlass. You know, I have to give a shout out to this art. This art on this, uh, all the packaging is really great. It looks across between like the old 80s board games and a lot of pulp adventures. So, shout out to the artist on who made this because it's awesome. And again, you get all the little cool side art. I don't know if you can see it as well. Well, each, each one says, warning, exposure to excessive heat can cause damage to the game board. So, bigger box, 
bigger game board. I'm guessing, let's see. There we go, this one is a big piece. There we go. So, an, again, another nicely detailed. They really put a lot of care and attention to all the, the pieces. So, gives you a nice little look. I'm sure when this is all fully laid out, this is going to be beautiful. And let's see. All right. I'm opening all this up. So we have the cards and new elements of play that go with this. Of course, all the different uh, ship pieces and a little bit more rock stuff. You have, if I can grab it, cannons. And then you have cannonballs and let's see, ember marbles, and then look at these little gems. They're all really, really nice, translucent, sparkly. I'm genuinely very impressed. Let's see. Before your first game, apply this sticker to the captain's wheel. All right, so I'm really impressed the amount of detail. Everything is just really, really nicely done. I mean, just look at that. That really gets my inner pirate going on that one. That's awesome. So, and then, yet again, we have the inventory of everything you have, all the action cards, souvenir cards, snapshot cards, ooh, a, a sinister motive cards, reference cards, and then all the new rules and how everything works. So I think if you put all these, uh, the main board and then the three side quests together, I think you're going to have a really, really cool uh, layout for that. All right, for the last expansion piece is the Fireball Island Treasure Trove. I didn't open up all the other cards on the other ones, but I figured that this is set yet another expansion. I thought we could go through this together. There we go. So, all right. So I'll just kind of give you a quick run through, and obviously uh, four different types of cards in this pack. Uh, you can use them to add uh, new rules, different feel, uh, some nasty take that moments, as they say. Some blank cards so you can come up with your own cards. All right. So they've, they've got some definitely cool ideas. Uh, everything from... Oh, they've got injuries. Everything from wrenched ankle to dislocated shoulder. Paper cut. Because that's something you're really going to worry about on a giant island where a volcano god is trying to kill you. Although those things do hurt. Uh, Charlie horse. Sorry, I'm just kind of... I won't go through every single one, but just wanted to show a couple. Okay, Cracked Rib is a little more serious than a paper cut. Mild Hallucinations, you too can pretend you're a burning man. Uh, must Hair, I know that would traumatize some people. Bloody Nose, so they've, they've got, wow, Slight Nausea. Okay, so let's see, these are the blank cards, so I'm sure you can add some ridiculous scenarios if you want to. Selfie Stick. Because that's what I'm going to be doing whenever I'm facing an angry volcano. Okay, got a couple of these. T-shirt cannon. Foam finger. Vuvuzuela. What kind of island is this if you're finding all this weird stuff? Boulder summoning bongos. Anti-bee bomb. Haha. Uh -huh. Snake oil. Okay, so these are all the different souvenirs. Coal pack. Magic talisman. So you get two of each. Oh, hangry souvenirs. Uh, snapshot snare. Cave snare. Helipad snare. Treasure snare. Kind of looks like a, a Big Mac package or a Chick McNuggets package from McDonald's. I guess I might snare somebody. Root snare. Personal snare. I'm surprised there's not an emotional snare. Overpriced pizza. Flat Dr. Ember. Haha. -ha. Disappointing sandwich. There's nothing worse. Stale pretzel. Also nothing worse. Gloopy nachos. Man, they're really breaking my heart. Soggy fries. Yep. They're, they're hitting all the right keys. Excalibur. Okay. That's kind of cool. You can find that. Molnir. Nice. Durandal the Rock Cleaver. Club of Heracles. Trident of Poseidon. Vorpal Blades. Some more blank cards to appropriately screw over your friends. Yeah, so that's um, 
they've got quite a nice new selection of scenarios for you and definitely nice little kit right there. Well, that's everything in the Fireball Island Kickstarter package that I pre-ordered. I do want to give a thanks to Restoration Games for, number one, getting it done so early. Again, I wasn't kidding. This is the fastest turnaround time I've ever had on any Kickstarter project I've backed, and normally, on average, I expect people to be one to two years late, but these guys were solid. They, they definitely kept to their release date. Everything showed up nice and clean and undamaged, and all the pieces are high quality. The play scenarios look fun, and I'm definitely looking forward to making up for lost time for never having this back in the 80s. Well, that's everything for this unboxing video. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you that next time. Take care.